adding and subtracting mixed numbers. To add two mixed numbers, first you need to add the whole numbers. So here we have two mixed numbers. So first add these two. A mixed number contains two parts, the whole number and a fraction part. First add the whole numbers. 3 plus 1 is 4. Now let's add these two fractions. 1 third plus 1 half. So first find a common denominator and the common denominator is 6. Then if you turn this one 1 third over 6 it is just 2 over 6. So 2 over 6 plus the next one is 1 half. So 2 multiplied by 3 you got 6. Then 1 times 3 is 3. 3 over 6 plus 2 over 6 is 5 over 6. So the answer is 4, 5, 6. Next one. 7 and 5, if you add them up, you get 12. Now 1 half plus 1 fourth. So these two don't have common denominator. We need to find a common denominator. The common denominator for these two is 4. So let's just add them up. So 1 half is 2 over 4. And 1 fourth here is just 1 fourth. And if you add them up, you get 3 over 4. So the final answer is 12 3 fourths. Next one. 3 plus 4 is 7. Alright, now add these two fractions. 2 third plus 3 over 5. 2 third plus 3 over 5. To add these two, we need to find a common denominator, which is 15. 3 times 5 is 15. Now we need to change this fraction, something over 15. 3 multiplied by 5, you got 15. Do the same thing for numerator. 2 times 5 is 10. 5 times 3, you got 15. 3 times 3 is 9. Now, the answer here is 19 over 15. But the numerator is bigger than denominator. You need to turn this one into a, fra a mixed number. So, when you have improper fractions like this one, the numerator is bigger than denominator. So, it is improper fraction. You need to turn it into a mixed number. To turn this into a mixed number, just divide. 19 by 15, if you divide it, you get 1, and the remainder is 4. 1, 4, 15. 1, 4, 15 is the sum of these two fractions. We also have a whole number of 7. So, 7 plus 1 is 8. And 4, 15. The sum of these two mixed numbers is 8, 4, 15. Now let's take a look at subtraction. We have two numbers. Here, if the first fraction is bigger than the second fraction, you can just subtract the whole numbers and then subtract the fractions. Let's just try this method. 5 minus 2, it is 3. 1 third minus 1 6. 1 third is 2 6. Minus 1 6, it is just 1 6. So 3 1 6 is the answer. You can also use another method. You can turn these two into fractions. So to turn a mixed number into fraction, just multiply the whole number by denominator. 5 times 3 is 15. Plus 1 is 16. 16 over, and we never change the denominator. So 16 over 3 is the same thing as 5 1 third. Minus, do the same thing for the next mixed number. 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13. And the denominator is 6. Now we don't have a common denominator. We need to turn the first one, we need to change the first one to something over 6. To have a common denominator, the common denominator is 6. So 16 over 3 is the same thing as 32 over 6 minus 13 over 6. So 32 minus 13 over 6, if you subtract, you get 19 over 6. 
So the answer is 19 over 6. 19 over 6, if you divide 19 by 6, you get 3 and the remainder is 1. 1 over 6. So 3 over 1, 3, 1, 6 is the answer. There are two more examples here that you can do yourself.